Learning a new platform can be daunting. And for us developers who love to look line by line through areas of code, a software as a service platform can seem even a bit more daunting. This is a black box, there's a curtain wrapped around it. We don't know what's going on underneath the covers. That's not to say that there are some really valuable upsides to software as a service. It's just that when it comes down to this learning curve, it's it, we can be we can run into some of these potholes that actually end up to be more like sinkholes. We at Swift Otter know a thing or two about this learning curve firsthand. Uh, we've we've helped many thousands of developers across the world master challenging topics, and we are really excited to bring this into the big commerce space as well. But before we begin, I want to quickly introduce ourselves. My name is Joseph Maxwell. I'm president here at Swift Otter. And the, the person who has masterminded this incredible uh, foray into big commerce is none other than my good friend, Chris Nanninga. And Chris, maybe you can introduce yourself. Well, I'm Chris Nanninga, uh, and I'm director of training development at Swift Otter. Yes, he has done a tremendous amount of work uh, across these different our different training programs, uh, very thorough, very in depth, and we are bringing this here to the big commerce space. Now, when you hear this, you might think of the big commerce documentation. We say big commerce has done a really fabulous job with their documentation overall. So, the question that we might pose, and Chris, I guess I'll pose this to you. Why would a developer not want to just use the big commerce documentation overall? Like, I mean, wouldn't, won't, wouldn't that bring a developer from zero all the way up to hero? Uh, well, I'm a big fan of documentation, and that's been a huge part of my big commerce journey. Obviously, I've spent mm -hmm. many, many hours poring over the documentation. Mm -hmm. uh, but but uh, as, you know, as valuable as it's been for me, it's also left me with a lot of unanswered questions in different areas uh, where I didn't find the level of depth I really needed to understand, uh, understand different topics or didn't really understand the practical application. I've spent, I've spent a lot of time, you know, kind of in big commerce's dev community slack, uh, asking questions about this or that topic of the documentation says this, but can someone explain to me what this means or how, or how you would mm -hmm. really use that, uh, in your, in your big commerce development? Yeah, so the documentation is really good as a reference material, but when it comes to the actual practical working knowledge, there's not necessarily, at least in our opinion, the right tool for that job of becoming, you know, a real expert on big commerce development. And it's for this reason that we are really excited to announce the release of a new course that we have developed. We, Chris, has developed and done it absolutely tremendous work with this. It's been in the, it's been in the works for many months now, tremendous of, uh, amount of research and development, making sure we have this finely tuned to the perfect course that will, that will help you onboard into this part of big commerce. And the title of the course is the big commerce front end foundations. The idea being here, you will become an expert on the most common front end customization tasks. Basically, if a task is thrown at you to customize or change something on the front end, you are the person that is well-equipped, well-familiar with how to do this. Chris, maybe you can give a little bit more information as far as what is in this course. Absolutely. So, so this our first big commerce course is is going to be focused on the default big commerce front end. So this is this is all about learning to build themes and build theme features in the stencil framework uh, that is big commerce's uh, uh, engine for for its default front end. Mm -hmm. uh, and the the idea with our approaches in our courses uh, is for me to just be kind of your mentor as if I was at your desk with you to to point this thing out and that thing out in the code and 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 tell you exactly how they work and work with you as you learn to use those things practically. So so we have the course involves lots of extensive written lessons, but every single one of those lessons also has me on a video talking directly to you and and talking you through all those things in detail and uh we we go into a lot of deep dives into topics, uh, lots of stuff that I have just had to learn from experience and just really digging in to different components of the, the stencil framework, uh, finding out things that maybe aren't in the documentation or f finding out uh, 
how, how things work on a, a, a low level. Um, we're we're going to do deep dives into all those topics, like uh, like learning uh, about the full schema of the data that's available to you from your big commerce store in mm-hmm. your in your stencil theme, or uh, learning learning about the the details of uh, the the reference themes implementation of responsive images and what all the moving pieces of that are uh, mm-hmm. to topics like that where we're just going going really in depth and and learning them on a low level uh, and then hands on exercises are a big part of the course so it's not just like lecturing at you with this knowledge there's right. there's several custom features we're going to build together in an actual big commerce theme and those just kind of evolve over the course of all the lessons like we start we start with something really simple and then continue to iterate on those features as mm-hmm. we we learn a certain topic then we apply that to the hands-on exercises that we're doing and we also have lessons that are more, they're less focused on just like technical knowledge of different development topics and more focused on some strategies and workflows, like just giving you my tips on things like what, what are some good practices mm-hmm. as I'm developing my code to, to keep it from becoming like a tangled mess that is totally incompatible with, with upgrades that come, come down the pipeline uh, for, for big commerce's default theme. Some, some strategies and workflows for things like that, particularly in areas where, uh, where you might be uh, kind of left wondering how you approach these things on a SaaS platform. Absolutely. And I think, I, I, I think this, this course will help bridge the gap. And like I was saying earlier, we estimate 15 to 20 hours for the average person to go through this course. And you might say, wow, that sounds like a lot of time. Really, that's three to four weeks at one hour a day. You could easily knock that out in well less than a week if you go full time on it. So anywhere in between, and you gained this knowledge quickly, very efficiently. And in, 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 and we've done the experimentation for you. We have gone very deeply into the system and figured out these these nuances and these areas that maybe as good as the documentation is, it's almost impossible to cover at all. But we've done that for you in a very, very practical manner here in this course. So there's a lot of reasons why we're really excited about this course. Uh, it really fits a, a big need of helping developers get started on big commerce as quickly as absolutely possible. So for that reason, we're really excited about it. Go over to swiftotter.com and we'll uh, show you exactly how to get started on big commerce. 